welcome back to After the Island. I'm Elizabeth. I'm Alex. And we have Eddie with us today. What's up, guys? Good to be here. Welcome. Oh my gosh, welcome. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. You know, living life, trying to cope with being back in the real world. Yeah. And how's that going? It's good. Um, I'm kind of like just like taking my time getting back home home, you know, like I'm just, you know, seeing what I'm already out. So like I might as well just see what's out here in the world, right? How um, were you originally contacted for the show? How did you end up on Love Island? So it's it's actually like a crazy story. Um, it's not really that crazy. Somebody DM'd me, but they it was a casting director that had already knew my sister in law, and um, wow. yeah. So like he, my sister in law was cast for a Sonic commercial, and he did that one too. So like she was like, hey, like. We were watching the show one day, and she was like, hey, my little brother, like, you know, he could be good on one of these shows. And then he was like, all right, cool. So he DM'd me, and then uh, it just kept going from there. God, I love that. Wait, that's so, amazing. So yeah. How did you feel when you found out that you were a Casa Boy? Did you watch Love Island before? Did you know what that meant? Yeah, so I watched, so after I did the first interview, I watched uh, season two, I think with uh, Johnny and Sally and all of them in Vegas. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I watched that one, and then I got all the way up to Casa Amor and, like, a few episodes after that. And, like, so I understood, like, what it was, you know? So yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. So you went in, you understood what needed to be done. What was kind of, like, your game plan going into it? Who were you interested in before you went in? My top, my top three changed, like, it actually didn't change. It, like, rotated a lot. So, like, the first episode that aired, I was like, all right, boom. Like, Destiny was, like, the it girl. And then she's she's been in my top two the entire time. But, like, for the longest time, it was between her, Hannah, and KK. And then, like, it just, like, you know, it just kept rotating after that. So, like, I knew going into Casa that Hannah was off the table. So, I was like, all right, cool. Like, you know... I got, I got two things. I can focus more now, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because I had wondered, I thought, okay, is Eddie going to be going in and going in for KK? Like, I yeah. like, kind of had predicted that would happen. And then what was it like once you met KK? Dude, she's a ball of energy. Like, it's just, <laughs> it's like, um, you know, you, you think you know somebody from, like, watching them on screen. And then, like, you meet yeah. them and you're like, you're what I expected, but like better, you know? So yeah. like, it was, yeah, you know, she was real, she was mad cool. Like the whole conversation that we had was, was amazing. Like, you know, like people didn't even see the full conversation and people got on my, <laughs> they got on my butt for not knowing what Mykonos was, but like, I've heard of it. Like, <laughs> but like, I was just like, I don't know where, I didn't know it was in Greece or whatever. So. <laughs> it's I, all good. I'm geography challenged, so. Yeah. I can't spell, would be so it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> all of our flaws. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. So give us, like, the lowdown on how you felt in Casa. Did you feel any spark with um, any of the girls yeah. you were interested in? So I'm going to give you all some inside, right? Because, like, okay. people on my Instagram have been asking me what happened between you and Destiny. Because mm -hmm. I said that yeah. me and Destiny had probably the, like, a stronger spark than I did with KK. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, I went in there and I, my first conversation was with KK, but like in my head, I was like, I don't want to talk to destiny. So like, you know, I tried to pull her for some conversations, but like at first, you know, we just getting to know each other. Then after like our second conversation, like it was like, Oh, like we can, I can see something here, you know, between me. And then like, you know, she was like, she was feeling it too. So, you know, after a few days, her and Zay were kind of sharing the bed together and everything like that. So, you know, it just, the biggest thing with her was like, her and Zay had spent more time together. They went to the hideaway. Yeah. They, you know, were in the bed like all, all night. Like, so that was basically the rundown of it. Like me and her's conversations went well. You know, we talked and like she was like, Yeah, like you're you're in contention, like we're having good conversations, but like Zay just like, you know, had the the majority of her time. Oh, 
That's crazy because I didn't yeah. see a connection between her and Zay. Mm. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It, to me, I was like, I I saw like a little bit, but like I I don't know. From our conversations, me and Destiny's conversations, it seemed like me and her would work out better. But I don't know. That's that's her, you know, choice. Yeah. 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 That yeah. makes sense. So, um, so you didn't, did you think at all that you maybe would go back to the villa, like, in the back of your mind? Or was it kind of? Yeah. So there was a point after the video came out, right? And, you know, KK was going through her emotions and everything. I kind of didn't know what to do because I'm not going to be that guy that like tries to like be like, Oh no, it's okay. I'm here, you know, and try to like sneak my way in the villa like that. So I kind of like, just like took a step back and I was like, look, I, I told KK, I was like, yo, I'm here if you need me like emotionally just to be like, you know, that backbone for you. And then um, I was still having conversations with destiny, of course. And those were going well as well. So like there was a certain point where I thought like, okay, it's, it's probably that either one of them can take me and I and I think one of them will. You know, KK more as like a friend, as like an emotional support, and then Destiny could be like more of the romantic side. But um it just didn't work out. Were there any girls that you would have been interested in that got sent home earlier in the season that like weren't <laughs> in Casa that you would have been interested in? Um I'm, I'm yeah. based on this reaction, yeah, I'm gonna say, I'm yeah. Gonna say yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh I ain't gonna like Emily. Emily was cute. Okay. <laughs> Emily was very. Yeah, she was cute. I ain't gonna lie. Like we got to the villa, or uh, we got to Casa, and we were like, "Yo, like it's six girls who's missing," and then we figured out it was um, Emily because we didn't get to see the we didn't get to see the episode right before. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. right. Wow. Oh my god. I know. I just, Casa was like so crazy but you guys brought such good energy <laughs> that we honestly we were like can we just swap out all of the regular villa guys <laughs> and put all the guys in? i saw that yeah oh you did see our clip of us saying that yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah we, we loved you guys you guys brought so much energy it was yeah. awesome like yeah such man. Good vibes that that group of guys like those casa boys like we already have a group chat going like it's oh my like, gosh those are my brothers man matia zay rob brandon like matia rob and brandon are probably the closest ones i was with in there and then like rob and zay of course like we're still close and everything but like nah like we it's really like a brotherhood now like we're planning on doing like trips together and like making content like it's 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 crazy I never yeah, thought I would make that close that. of friends that fast. Yeah. Maybe Rob will get you guys all in a creek. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, of course. And maybe Carmen oh, can yeah. come. <laughs> <laughs> Boys. Tell us like some of the funny stories that we missed. Yeah. That we didn't like get to see. Dang. There's a lot. Um oh, you guys didn't hear my uh my encounter with my homeless guy story. No, I told him. Yeah, I told to the boys. Yeah, so like when I had moved into my apartment back in Texas, um, there was the like the first couple of days I was there, like one day I like, woke up out of my sleep and there was a homeless guy in my apartment, and like, <laughs> yeah, like I'm not kidding. So, he was trying to steal my phone. <laughs> he was. This is just like the short version, but like yeah, he had my phone in his hand. And like it was like six in the morning or something like that, and I I like I sleep naked, so like, <laughs> so Stop. I'm dead serious. So like Stop. I'm like yo yo who are you? And he's like he's trying to lie. He's like I'm like bro who are you? Like get out of my apartment. So I like get out the bed and I like start like chasing him out of my house and everything. And I get my phone and I like I get him to the naked, butt <laughs> naked. Like it's crazy. Like. No, I, I actually, like, so when he gets out of my apartment and everything, I don't think to, like, call the cops because I'm just like, all right, he's out of my place. But then, like, I got a video of him, like, running down the hallway, like, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Like, it's, it was the craziest thing that ever happened to me. What the hell? Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. I was going to say, like, you had some Fiji experience, and that's why I was saying, like, oh, I don't know if we can oh. share that. But, <laughs> no, um, no, 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 no. back no, no. at home. Oh, my God, that's <laughs> yeah. crazy. What the Man. hell? Yeah. Were they, and everyone was just dying. 
Everyone was in there dying laughing. There were so many other things. I can't even like think right now. Like we it was it was all jokes. And that was one of the best things about it too. Like it was just times where like after we were done working out, we would just sit by the beach and like just like tell stories and like just joke around and everything like that. It was just so cool. Like the vibes was cool from the guys and the girls. Good. Yeah. yeah. We could so feel fun. that through the screen. Yeah. That's I good. mean, we loved you guys. Loved watching yeah. you. Did you get to hang out with all of the boys and the Casa girls? What, like all the ones that didn't make it into the villa afterwards? Oh, yeah. Me, Rob, and Brandon, like, you know, we were we were here for a couple, you know, extra days. So, like, you know, we got to hang out, got a little bit closer. Um, I'm going to go, me, <laughs> all of us are going to go to uh, Rob's farm sometime. We're going to figure out a time to go. And, like, we're planning on building, like, a treehouse. He goes, you know, Rob, like... I he likes all that, you know, nature shit. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> we're going to build a tree house and, like, we're probably going to, like, carve in, like, Casa Boys on there. Just to, like, you know. You guys are yeah. so cute. I love yeah. that. You guys have Those are my such guys. romance. I was no, like, you seriously I want to be there, too. I was like, <laughs> Yeah. I know. Why do I want to be one of the boys? I know. Yeah. <laughs> just off, like, Casa Boys series. Yeah, right? Shoot. <laughs> Yeah, or just even like an unseen bits of just the casa. Yeah, uh, I was hoping they would show more. Like, I don't know if y'all seen the unseen bits where I was like chasing him, with, like with the snake or whatever, like that. Like we were supposed to be like catching a snake, but it was a rope, and like I just like aimed for Rob. I didn't even go for the, the for the rope. It was just funny. Yeah. Well, I also want to hear. Um, obviously, you said your best friends. That's like my go-to question. I'm like, who's your best? Yeah. Friend? But who was your best friend out of the girls in there? Strangely enough, Carmen. Like, no one really? ever, like, yeah, no one would have ever probably thought, but, like, me and Carmen were, like, really, really close in there. Like, every time, you know, I was, like, sitting somewhere, like, sitting on the beach, like, we would just be sitting down next to each other just talking. Or, like, if I had a question about a girl or something like that, I would go to her. Like, it was really her. And then, like, Hannah, too. Like, me and Hannah, like, we're, we're really, really cool. But, like, Carmen was the one that I wasn't expecting to be friends with. And, like, we were, like, really, really tight. Yeah, I love that. Facts. Awesome. One on one. Yes. A proper one reunion with guys. Proper guys. Yes. God, yes. We loved the Castle Boys. We were like, you guys. Are <laughs> oh my fans. god. Yeah. Oh. Thank you so much. How have the DMs been since you've left? Have you gotten any good DMs? <sighs> god, I've had some crazy DMs, and like I didn't even get like a crazy amount of followers. Like it, but I, I mean, but I have gotten like a lot, but. Just some of the DMs I saw were women are creative. I ain't gonna lie. Wait, oh my tell gosh, us like the best one. Yeah, what are the best so ones? So the one that stood out the most was like some girl sent me like an official like appointment thing to, to like confirm an appointment to like come see her. And I was like, this, I was like, this was creative. Like nothing else was oh said. She was just like, yeah, confirm the appointment. I mean, I didn't That's I didn't confirm it, but like, it was it was funny though. Yeah. You should confirm it. <laughs> <laughs> then I would have to go, you know? I know, I, I know. I, That's true. Yeah. Did yeah. did any um islanders from like previous seasons slide into your DMs? No, but uh <laughs> But are you uh, like, I, I don't even know if I should no, say I this. Are you gonna slide into someone's DMs? <laughs> say it. I I kinda <laughs> already have. <laughs> 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 oh my god. It's actually somebody from uh from this season. Who? Mm. <laughs> Tell you me. You guys are uh, mysterious. Tell um, us. Um, I I mean I really it's, I, I slid into uh, Emily's DMs like whenever we left the island. Uh, it wasn't really like a slide like oh like what's up. It was kind of like uh, I was trying to like you know ease my yeah, way yeah. in, like, introduce yeah, myself yeah. like oh like yeah. I saw you on the show. Oh, I saw you on the show type stuff, and then like build from yeah. there because we're we're from the same city. We're from Houston, so like. Oh, oh my god. Yeah, yeah, you guys totally have to at least meet up. Yes, yeah, yeah. 100%. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for so sure. Then. Yeah. Oh my god. Well, I love that. Yeah. We have yeah. a lot of crossovers from I people know. that are A lot of people right. that just missed missed the timeline. Yes. It just didn't, yeah. Well, yeah. It didn't hit or it didn't make it to the screen, but wow, right. that's so exciting. Is there exactly. any um other like future plans you want to share with the fans? Oh, like, yeah. So um, you know, 
me and Matia are probably going to, like, hang out together in, like, his hometown, uh, Miami. Probably going to go over there. Like, I'll keep my Instagram updated so, like, y'all will see all of this. Like, I'm going to be in Miami. Then um, we'll probably all do something, whether it be, like, in L.A., Vegas, or Houston, or, you know, wherever. Like, as a group of, like, just the Islanders. Mm -hmm. Um, You know, obviously, I already told y'all that me, Rob, Brandon, and, you know, Matia, all of us are going to uh, Alabama to Rob's farm to build that treehouse. Like, we got a lot of plans. So, you know, it's going to be good. I propose we host after the island an episode in the treehouse once it's built i i you know what let's make it happen i'm not even kidding okay. i just make it happen we're coming <laughs> yeah i mean yeah like, obviously <laughs> it only makes yeah sense. It, it only makes sense it's the only way <laughs> oh my gosh amazing i cannot wait for that i'm so looking forward to that mm-hmm. and i'm sure all of your like fans and viewers are too oh yeah so much oh, yeah. fun this season um Hopefully, maybe we'll see more of you on our screen yeah. soon. Maybe an yeah. appearance on All Stars. I don't know what you have in store. I don't, I don't know. know. Let's Are see. You still a free agent? Yeah. So, um, I'm I'm gonna go back and continue to train, but like I'm also gonna like you know see you know see what I can do like outside of it. Like I've already gotten um an invite to do like well I got an invite before I came here to do Miami Swim Week. I was supposed to walk that, but oh no, I came here. wow, yeah. So, like, I'm still in, you know, communications with people who are in, like, the modeling, you know, space and everything. So, I'm going to, like, dabble. I'm going to dabble. See what I can do, you know? Okay. I love this for you. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, The world is your oyster. (laughs) I'm trying to make it. (laughs) Well, we love talking to you. We cannot wait to meet you in person and have, well, now we're doing one at the studio and the treehouse. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah. (laughs) Definitely. With some stories. Oh, yeah. We can't wait. You guys yes. are awesome. You're of awesome. Of and call us when you get to LA. Yes. I will. I will. You guys will see me in LA and we'll do one live. Yes. Awesome. And All for right. anyone so watching this video, we are going to link Eddie's socials down below. If you want to follow him, send him some more appointment dates. <laughs> <laughs> get creative, ladies. Get creative. Get creative. Have to pop that. <laughs> And please like this video, comment, and subscribe to our channel, and let us know any other questions down below in the comments that you might have for Eddie. Thank you so much, Eddie, again for coming. It was so nice talking to you. you. Nice to talk to y'all, too.